Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from from Animosh and yes, I am coming to you all the way from Malaysia. Okay, so let's do a quick wristwatch check. Today I am wearing uh, my wife's uh, Seiko 5. Okay, so this uh, Seiko 5 now, this white color version of the Seiko 5, I think it is called, the model number is N S N K L something, I, I can't really remember but if you guys want to check out the video for this particular watch, so please go ahead and check out my... Uh, video archives. I guess so I've done a review for this particular watch maybe about two years ago. So yeah, it is paired with this um, uh, What do you call this sand color slim metal from dials and straps.com So if you guys are interested to check out this strap, so you, I, I have a discount voucher which is 10% uh, off and you just have to dial you just have to type in NM watch 10 before check out okay so yeah let's get to the fashion show right so the watch in question today is the is my my friends eric my buddies eric um, seiko 6138 chronograph speed timer or better known as the seiko bullhead due to this uh, bushes on top and, uh, and it is also called kakume because of this uh, square um uh, square chronograph register yeah yeah so i've done a review for this particular watch as well so please go ahead and check out my review for this watch right so the fashion show so what do we have today so we have total of 10 as usual we have 10 uh, straps um and as you can see here there is no nato strap so that is why but why is that because i'll show you later when when we take off the the straps from the from the watch okay so uh, first up is this my you know what I only have one collar wrap so this is the collar wrap that I have been using for the past two years you can see that there is a bit of you know worn uh, band here so sometimes I use it on this hole sometimes I use it on this hole sometimes I use it on this hole depending on the watch itself so you can see it is pretty pretty worn and yeah it I think it gives a lot of character to the strap itself very very soft very very nice very very high quality so yeah so you can see here that there is virtually no gap down here and yeah you know what the color the brown color the rusty brown color match the dial the brown dial really really well so i think for, for leather leather strap this is one of the best combinations right so let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist okay right so now you know what oh man the stitching here this stitching here and the stitching on the top just match this uh, nice superb looking watch right you know what this is maybe the best <laughs> I'm gonna start with the best today right one of the best looking strap for the Seiko speed timer right so let's get to the next one okay so yes I think we should show the, the luck holes uh, location here on this watch you can see that it is right here so it's quite near to the case itself so it doesn't give a lot of space for NATO straps to be put in so yeah you could put in a you know the NATO strap but you have to put the strap first here and then you have to some you know squeeze the the, the the spring bar here so which is which I don't really want to do right now so yeah let's get to the second strap which is this um, cool looking rally style strap from uh, uh, cheapestnesterstrap.com so this one has a quick release so it should be easy right so kind of putting it like that and then come on come on yep that one's in and then the other one Okay, that one is in as well. So, yes, you can see this one also looks nice. The brown color, or a little bit of a bit of lighter brown compared to this one, just gives it a lot more character to the watch. So you can see that this keeper here. Oh man, I really hate this keeper. So you can see that it has that you know folded style keeper. So yeah, that you know what? I'm gonna throw away this one and put something new. But still. The rally style gives it a lot more character suited uh, suited to the chronograph nature of this watch. So yeah, I'm gonna try to put this on camera, right, like that. And yeah, 
this gives it a much more racy feeling to it, right? Okay, so let's get to the next one. All right, so next up we have this uh, full, uh, not full water resistant. It is a water resistant watch. Uh, no, 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 sorry, water resistant strap from a maker called um, Bonetti. Yep, that's the like buckle. It says, I believe it is made in China, although it is it's mentioned here that it is made from genuine uh, goat skin, but still a nice uh, water, resistance, water resistance, resistance strap. And let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist. Right, six, like there, and like that. All right, so yes. You know what black suits all color right so black should be comfortable to any watch that you have in your collection and this one is just nice right so I don't really want to put those shiny shiny style of straps because I don't really like shiny straps uh, in the first place but so this style of you know what a uh, green leather is uh, nice I think for this um, what do you call it a uh, tool Tool watch, <laughs> tool watch something like that. Okay, so let's get get to this next one. Okay, so up next is the Harry Sweet strap from Vario Everyday, or I think it was uh, Vario Singapore. Or is it Vario Everyday? <laughs> I think it's Vario VarioSingapore.com. So this is the uh, Harry Sweet strap made from uh, wool. I think maybe from you know wool is from sheep, right? So yeah, <laughs> so it is a nice uh, bit different a bit flamboyant looking strap by the way so i have the most uh you know what unflashy looking uh in their price range we in, in their product range so we have this black color version of it i think it match and suits the the character of the watch which you know what makes it look sporty and dressy as well so yeah let's see how it looks on my on my wrist so oh man this is going to be a struggle Okay, because as I mentioned during my previous re review for this particular strap, you can't really see where the hole sits, so you just have to kind of guess. And yeah, how nice. What do you guys think? A bit of wool on your chronograph, huh? Nice. Okay, you can see that there is a Vario uh, sign buckle down here, and the keepers are a bit too thick, you know, in my opinion, but yeah, still quite a nice thing to have. Right, so let's go to the next one. All right, so next up is this um, canvas lead, not leather, <laughs> canvas strap from BlueShark.com, BlueSharkStraps.com, I think the full name is. So you can see that because of the thin profile of this strap, it match. Yeah, I, I mean, I put it when I put it inside the uh, lug holes, it is way much easier compared to this <laughs> wool straps from Vario Singapore. So you see that this the silver or the grey color match nicely with. No, in, in any other color it's, it's actually so yeah uh, the silver no the gray with the brown looks nice in my opinion and we have this uh, cool looking buckle as well so yeah let's see how it looks on my wrist it's a bit uh, it's a bit thin so you know what it's quite easier compared to the other uh, strap that I have today mm -hmm. but the keeper is oh my god oh. The keeper is a bit flimsy here. I wish I, you know what? I'm I'm, I'm gonna change it for something uh, in leather. I think so. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a bit too thin. You know what? What do you guys think? It's a bit too thin for this um, behemoth of a watch. <laughs> it's it's this watch is this watch head is thick. So when you have a thin strap, I don't know. I don't know, guys. So it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really float my boat. You know. So it's yeah. Anyway, so. Nice to have, but I do think if we, if I have a maybe a sand color such as this, maybe it will match uh, more to the to the wash. Okay, so the, yeah, let's get to the next one. All right, so next up is this superb, simple yet superb looking uh, mesh bracelet from uh, strapcode.com. So you you know I've been using this strap quite a lot in my uh, fash previous fashion show review. So you can see it match this vintage watch with this uh, vintage styling of the strap, and yeah, it's very very comfortable. You can see that it you know what it's just curve following your wrist so and this uh, thick yeah, no not that thick but nice profile makes it looks 
just nice uh, to the watch itself so let's put it on my wrist if I can do this on camera <laughs> this is quite difficult guys so trust me it's not really that easy so put it on this hook boom and boom yeah right how cool is that yeah I just love it man just love that vintage aesthetic uh, maybe I'm old. <laughs> I'm just 42 this year, so yeah, maybe my tastes have changed. My wife, my wife, almost always said that my current watch selection is more, <laughs> more to the oldie style. So yeah, maybe I'm old. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> as long as we enjoy watches, huh? Right. So next up is this one, right? Okay, so next up is this presidential style strap that I've got from eBay from a seller called Zlims, I think <laughs> Zlim S N or something like that. So it is uh, very not say I not I don't want to say cheap, but yeah, affordable, maybe eleven or twelve bucks uh, from eBay. So yeah, it has that um, uh, multi uh, polish surface at the center and a brush surface at the side. So kind of give it a you know what a more dressy look to the strap uh, it thinks i think and yeah uh, the the buckle is you know what cheap and uh, it doesn't really you know what uh look that expensive but yeah for 12 bucks you can't really complain right so anyway it gives this watch a quite a different look something similar to the uh mini omega speed muscle something like that so yeah let's see how it looks on my wrist this is uh, relatively much easier to use yes you can see that i don't know guys just love how this um watch is compatible to lots of lots and lots of uh, strap combination right so how cool is that how cool is that right okay so let's get to the next one all right so next up we have the we have the only canvas strap in this uh, in this uh, 10 pieces combo that i have this is the um, two piece nero strap or is it two piece uh, yeah two piece nero strap from gadgetwraps.com so i've done the review for this particular piece in the past so please go ahead and check out the video that i've made for this the straps from gadgetwraps.com so we have again this uh, brush buckle here we have one one fixed keeper here anyways we have one floating keeper here and again we have this um, um, easy to use uh, quick release uh, uh, stick release spring bar right so yes let's just put it on the wrist again we have this uh, I think it it's okay the gray color is okay on this brown color strap but still I think a sand color or a green color maybe would suit it much better well, maybe sand, sand, sand is much better right so because it is more brown right so yeah we can see that because of this area is a bit, bit too thin so it doesn't really match it uh, nicely but yeah if you see from the top it doesn't really look that bad but yeah it's still doable for me doable but not really that cool in my opinion so yeah conclusion gray color and this one is gray color as well so yeah i don't think it suits this brown <laughs> uh brown colored watch all right so yeah next go to the next one okay so if you think that your seiko speed timer bullhead chronograph is not that um that flashy enough or <laughs> not that, that interesting enough why don't put something in red to match this uh is it called burgundy yeah no it's a bit maroon yeah maroon color bezel here so you can see that it gives the speed timer a much much more character i may say it uh, it's kind of telling dude i have a speed timer in my wrist man <laughs> all right so yes again this is a product from uh, gadgetreps.com i have made a review for this particular product as well and you can also if you want to contribute a bit to the channel yes you can buy from them using my affiliate link which i will put down below so, right let's see if if i can put it right okay so we have these two floating keepers here just nice i think the red color match uh this uh burgundy color as well really, really nice really really soft silicone for that matter it doesn't really collect uh lint that much yeah, yeah see, of course silicone will collect lint but it's not really that bad on this and this particular uh, piece so overall a nice looking and easy to use uh, silicone strap because we have this 
uh, quick release string bar yeah I just love these things you know so <laughs> it's really really easy you don't have to fiddle with this um, tool spring bar remover right so yeah and we have this gadget wraps uh, uh, nicely etched inside there okay so let's get to the last one all right so next up or the last one is the strap or the rubber strap that came with this watch which is this Hirsch a black kautuk rubber uh, from Hirsch so which is quite expensive in my opinion uh, not really expensive but it's uh, the Eric said it cost him about 50 bucks or 200 ringgit Malaysia and I can I can understand why it is that it is it is offer at that price because it's really really nice it this it doesn't have that um, vanilla scent to it but still a very nice strap and you can see we have this um, Hirsch pure kautuk or kautuk <laughs> in 20 millimeters and we have this uh, H style H uh, H into the buckle here and at the front so which gives it uh, just a nice it's a subtle strap but yeah an interesting an interesting interesting strap nonetheless so I'm not really sure how many colors that does this uh, Hirsch rubber strap offers but yeah I think there should be another colored offered in their range and maybe I should check it out sometimes but yeah nice one so I think maybe this strap is catered for a smaller wrist size because Eric's wrist is 6.5 inch wrist mine is 6.75 so you can see that there is just a little bit just a little bit of strap over there right so maybe this is for the smaller guys like us in in asia if you guys are in the us or in the europe maybe they they also provide uh much longer straps than this okay so i think for a brown color strap this black rubber really really match it and yeah it looks good it's just that i think that this is a waterproof strap right so it should be used on a watch that is waterproof as well so <laughs> you don't really want to bring this seiko this 40 years old seiko vintage timer in the pool anytime soon right so yeah it probably will destroy it completely okay so i think that's all for the fashion show for this particular watch i hope you guys uh, find it useful because uh, maybe you, this video gives you guys an idea of what type of straps that you could fit to your uh, vintage seiko speed timer uh, bullhead uh, Kakume chronograph watch so yeah if this uh, is useful for you guys please give me a thumbs up and if you, if you guys want to see more videos such as this please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the bell button so that you won't miss any of my uh, future video contents okay so until next time I'll see you soon bye bye